Today's modern applications really go hand in hand with peripheral devices such as scanners, digital cameras, and digital tablets. And now I'm going to spend a little time talking about the benefits to using them. And the best news of all is that these devices give you a great excuse to get new shiny toys. It works for me every single time. I say, honey, I, I really need that digital camera and I need a new Wacom tablet and I need a new scanner. And she says, why do you need all these things? Because without those tools, I can't make the money that helps you buy shoes. And that pretty much seals the deal. So that's why I have shiny toys everywhere. I get toys, she gets shoes. It works great. Now, let's go ahead and start off with the first device you might want to pick up. This is called a Wacom tablet, and you can visit this website at Wacom.com, and you choose the country that you live in, and then, of course, you'll come to this screen here. Now, a Wacom tablet is simply a an alternative to a traditional mouse, like this guy here. And as you see, this guy is drawing on this tablet, and it's connected to your computer. And the reason you might want to use this is because, first of all, it can really relieve the stress that a mouse can cause to your carpal tunnel. And I haven't had any wrist problems since I've been using this thing. It can also help you to draw more naturally, the way you were taught to draw when you were a little kid. You're actually able to tilt it and, and paint with it. And it also gives you pressure sensitivity. So the harder you press down, the thicker the stroke of the brush. The lighter, the lighter the stroke. So it's a really great investment. And they come in several flavors. You have the Graphire line, which is the uh, lowest price ones, and these are great. A lot of my students have these. You also have the Intuos, which is what I have, and it's a great device. They both come with a mouse and the stylus, which is the pen that you draw with. You also have the Cintiq, and this one is where you draw literally on the screen itself. Now, my wife doesn't love me that much to let me get one of those. Those are pretty expensive, so there's not enough shoes in the world to, to make that deal. So, that's a Wacom tablet that you might want to check out. Get one of these three. They will really change the way you work with Photoshop. Now, what else do you want to use? A digital camera. Phones these days have cameras. You can get one in the store that's disposable. You can get all kinds of cameras, and what you want the camera to do is provide you with texture so you can go out and take a picture of a brick wall, a door, woods, trees, I mean leaves, and then you can bring those textures into the computer and then bring them into Photoshop. It's invaluable. So if you can get your hands on a digital camera, find one, just get one. It's important. And a scanner. A scanner is important for people like myself who'd like to draw traditionally. I like to draw my characters on paper first, scan them in, and then color them in Photoshop or do my color correction or my image editing. Now, slowly but surely, I am drawing more and more with the pad and tablet here. I'm not really drawing too much with the paper, so I'm trying to really get away from paper altogether, and a lot of artists are doing that as well. So, those are some of the peripheral devices that you want to get your hands on, and once again, just make some kind of deal with your significant other. Tell them the benefits of having them, because you'll work faster, you'll work more comfortably, and the more comfortable you are, the more money you can make and the more shoes or gadgets that person can buy.